Curse of the Spawn sucks my balls. Man, fuck this book. And I collected it for a long time because I was supposed to, because it's cool, right? It's Spawn. It's the second title. It's got monsters and shit. It's got... I can't deny that Dwayne Turner is a damn good artist, and there are certain drawings in this thing that look really good. And, you know, you, you in the comments... You know, my followers, you, you could probably verbalize this in a way. I find you guys doing this often where I'll, I'll have a video and I'll say something like, I don't know what this is or what it is I don't like about this. I'll try to express the feeling and then you guys will like distill it down into a single like it's because of this. The coloring is technically good, but I can't stand it. It's too muddy and too, I, I, I don't like it. I don't like the coloring in this book. This drawing of the face and the hand and the it's 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 pretty cool. Like that's all good. But part of it is just like the more I do these videos and I review the Spawn franchise and Todd McFarlane. I like McFarlane as a creator. I I I like him as a person for as much as I can know him as a person through interviews and shit. I love his ballsy attitude. I love his art. I do not like his writing. I do not think Spawn is that interesting. Spawn is like a one-off, like a short series, a graphic novel or two. It is not a franchise. Now, I say that being completely fucking proven wrong because it's been a franchise for how long? But I just, I don't think it's ever going to become a big deal. It's not that awesome. It's not that interesting. He keeps trying to make Spawn happen, and you could say he did make Spawn happen, but... It's, I don't know. I just don't think it's ever going to get as big as he wants it to be. But again, I say that with him having how much success with it and he's continuing it. But I think most of his success, if you want to talk financially, is, is his other business ventures and his toys and shit like that. Um, so Curse of the Spawn. And, you know, it wasn't until I popped this open and reread the name of the writer. And I'm like, oh, right. I fucking hate this guy's writing. Alan McElroy, I know nothing about the man except the only thing the only thing I know is that I was reading this series and I kept collecting it and I kept telling myself this is cool, this is awesome. A lot of people use use the word edge lord shit like it's it feels like that like oh it's so dark and gritty and violent and gothic and horrific and it's, it's not it's none of these things and I kept reading it for. I don't know, 10 to 15 issues, and this guy was writing it, and I ended up hating this fucking guy because I couldn't stand the writing in these books that I was wasting my goddamn money on, but younger me, I mean, this is 1996, so I'm like 18, 19 years old. I'm coming out of the first wave of, like, comics were so fucking awesome. I started in the super late 80s, early 90s, and getting to read X-Men's and Spider-Man's and stuff like that, and seeing the rise of the Jim Lee's and Liefeld's and Sylvester's and McFarlane's to extreme heights and the excitement of Image Comics, but this shit is starting to get dour and stupid, and, and I, I wasn't able to admit to myself that this shit sucks. Like, it's beautiful paper. I'm sure McFarlane paid extremely well. He has everybody who I think is doing the best work that they can do, and... So when I say this, I don't mean any disrespect to the human beings. Dwayne Turner's a great penciler. Danny Mickey's incredible inker. Or is it? Or is Zikowski is? Uh, you don't need to have me tell you what he is as far as letters. Um, he's like a long-standing genius. Um, coloring. I don't know the names of any of these guys. But like I said, it's like it's both good and I can't fucking stand it. it. It's just something about this that doesn't work. And even Dwayne Turner, I can tell he can t he can draw. Like a badass, super badass. But he has this like cartoony style that McFarlane has and then Greg Capullo has and so does McFarlane. It's this cartoony style that's not rooted in like a realistic approach, but it doesn't work with this horror shit. It doesn't work. So again, I want to say Alan McElroy, I don't know him. I don't know anything about him, but... His name in these books, I just associate it with shit that I hate because I got so sick of it. And it's my own fault for not being smart enough to recognize my own limitations about how much this shit is not good. Now, if you love it, again, this is just my opinion. I'm not taking anything from you. So don't, you know, at me or, or do what I don't fucking, I don't give a shit. But 
like, it's just more Spawn shit. And we've got Spawn. This bones and blood and monsters and tongues and glowing eyes. It's not scary. And it's not, I don't know. This would be way more interesting to me if it were black and white because I could just love on the awesome penciling and the beautiful inks from Danny Miki on this shit. I've seen a few pages of these in black and white. I was like, holy shit, are those inks good? This would look so much better as a black and white comic, I think. And again, I can't tell you why the coloring doesn't work for me. It just doesn't. It's, I, I can't stand. And then this cartoony, like this is Dwayne Turner, but I saw this, I'm like, is this great Capullo drawing this? It's a McFarlane vibe, but also a Capullo vibe, but it's a Dwayne Turner thing. None of this is scary. It's it's well drawn. It's extremely calm. Like they know Dwayne Dwayne Turner knows how to draw everything. He, you know he knows perspective and drama and camera angles and. But doesn't this all look like Capullo? Doesn't this look like everything you've seen from a Spawn comic ever? Like what is unique? It's it's already fucking boring. Giant skull hell monsters chasing a a. a kid and his mom they're in a graveyard the coloring is just overdone rotting monster creatures and some kind of like um demon vatican catholic monster creature i it, i just i could not be more bored this is so shit now it, do i need to get on here and like shit on things people occasionally bring me to task on that like if you hate it why do you why do you have it if you hate it why are you talking about it well it's because it's a comic that existed it's out there and it probably sold in pretty damn good numbers and that's the whole point of my channel i'm talking about books that i own that i bought and whether i liked them or disliked them so you know if you don't like my opinion on you can go fuck yourself but i just this is not interesting Again, pretty well drawn. I bet if this is, like I said, if this were black and white, I would find this way more interesting. I can barely make sense of what the hell I'm seeing here. It's like it's upside down. I don't get it. And again, this, this looks like a, not a sky. This looks like a photo of a sky that they imported in, probably. And that kind of takes me out of it. I don't care for that too much. I mean, it looks good. Like, it looks like a sky. But when it's this cartoony thing with hyper-realistic stuff, they don't mesh. Maybe someone else makes them mesh. But I don't think that they do here. And, and again, I, I could not bring myself to reread the story to, like, tell you what the story is. Because it's a Spawn comic, so who the fuck cares? The story is not interesting. It's not good. It's the same old shit. It's people that get stuck into the world of hell and there's rotting corpses and there's monsters and there's theoretical morality tales and there's monsters and explosions and machines and burning people and they're screaming and they're crying and they're screaming and they're crying and they're burning and they're, there are monsters and there's fire and there's guns and there's blood and guts and zombies and they're screaming and they're crying. It's the same fucking thing over and over and over. It's not any good. Fuck this book, man. Fuck it. There's so many words do you think it's saying anything? Do you think this is like great? Like, I just got done um, reviewing in the last day or two. I mean, the release schedule will be different. But by the time this is out, I will have released my review of Tom Strong, number one, by Alan Moore. And I was talking about how he was able to condense so much perfectly good, awesome story into just a few pages, a few panels, without long-winded bullshit words. Very little text boxes, but these things are just overloaded with like, like, all right, let's just read. I haven't read this shit in two decades. And I read it once. Let's see what it says. But this time the routes of escape have been exhausted. Death, the hunter, has finally run them down. Mad Madrid blames herself bringing a child into this unholy world. But she had no choice. They stand their ground against the walls of bones fetid with death. Souls scream all around them, robbed of salvation. The gates of heaven slammed closed long ago. Madrid knows she's only got one chance. She has to pick her moment. Madrid draws her spinner, but she this time she fails. 
the corpse mound behind Madrid and Matthew shatters. Skulls and, bor- skulls and bones topple forward. The dead make way as something arises from the... Ma- Fuck this book. This is so unnecessary. This is not good. And so some spawn, some new spawn creature. It's not Al Simmons. It's some other fucking dickweed named Daniel Lonzo. A new spawn erupts forth. The man once named Daniel Lonzo. Charred down to the bone in perpetual pain. Feels fibers, poly poly alloy, and plexiplastic rods throughout his under flesh and the necro flesh like a whip across his sparking mind and storm shattered soul torrential currents emotions moments anguish from a life before fuck that shit that is so stupid it is so poorly written that is so that is so self important like i got to write all these fluid dramatic gothic zombie comic prose bullshit it sucks it sucks it sucks and it shows who this guy is i guess he was some abusive asshole that would beat the shit out of his wife and kids so his son gets a shotgun and fucking kills him and now he's a hell spawn boy i can't wait to read this book and that reminds me what i remember thinking about every one of these issues it's such a gruesome dark disgusting world like who wants to live here with no light of hope or humanity or good anywhere it's just dark zombie satanic evil shit i'm not like talking like from like a religious perspective in real world like whatever have your story but it's all the worst shit and it's not any good like fuck you guys and your bullshit that you think this is awesome some bullshit spawn some stupid monster um (laughs) again Dwayne Turner can draw great. Danny Meek is a great inker. I would love to see these in black and white. But all of this, do you see, is this just another Spawn comic? It's Curse of Spawn, so of course it's in the same world. So I'm, I got my head up my ass, right? Fuck me, I'm an asshole. It's just, it's, oh, and this guy, the, me- the memories, the world, my God, what have I done? He's doing a Spawn thing. He's going to cry. He's not in an alleyway. He's in hell or something. I don't know where the fuck they're at, but he's going to cry. Now, that's a pretty awesome, like, skull face, monstrous little whatever the fuck it is. Um, Man, fuck this comic. And you know what? I'm going to probably review each one of them just to go on about how fucking terrible they are um, from a story perspective. So we've got Terry Fitzgerald writing about how Spawn Everything is awesome. There's a movie. Oh, yeah, this is where they're getting the movie going. We have signed on the following actors. Michael, Michael Jai White, John Leguizamo, Martin Sheen. Oh, my God, we were so excited for that Spawn movie. The Spawn movie was absolute shit, like for real. And it doesn't say that McFarlane wrote this, but this has to be McFarlane that wrote this. You'd think that they'd put his own fucking name on here, but he's saying here... Um, Spawn readers are generally age 12 and up, and Curse of the Spawn should appeal to those who keep writing and asking me to turn the heat up on the concept of the Spawn character. But first, I need to give you some cool visuals and wrap them around a story that captured your attention. The writer of the book, Alan McElroy, who wrote the screenplay for the Spawn movie, yeah, fuck you, buddy, is currently in production, and the majority of the scripts for the animated series at HBO. I heard that the cartoon is good. I've only seen bits and pieces, but the whole concept of Spawn just bores me to fucking death, so I couldn't get to through too much of it but i heard it's good um being the executive producer on the hbo show i chose alan McElroy to write the series because unlike many other writers who have taken a crack at spawn alan gets it he understands the character almost as well as i do and has in fact added things that i would never have thought of so when i decided to start up another monthly title i knew alan McElroy, McElroy could do it justice with his creative writing style and detailed stories he has provided me with a f- with 500 pieces to a puzzle instead of the 50 I had before. Um, The more you overthink the plumbing, the easier it is to stop up the drain. Seriously. Artistically, you got two guys, Dwayne Turner, who's been doing Sovereign 7, and he's making a concentrated effort to make it darker, grittier, moodier storylines that we're going to be telling. Danny Miki is the best inker ever, and blah, 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 went on about... And he also, again, I got to give McFarlane credit. I like McFarlane as a human being. I like his work. I like his business acumen he kept his books really cheap for as long as he could they're at this level he's only charging a dollar 95 when other books were getting way more expensive he kept the price down and kept people coming to him so i respect that i do not respect this shit book that's kind of an okay 
pinup, I guess. That's fine. Like, what? Who fucking cares? I like these kind of like simplistic animated style drawings. These are kind of cool. And his action figures, whether the concepts are interesting or not, the figures are always awesome, whoever the hell these guys are. <coughs> Excuse me. And, um... Yeah, Spawn, the movie is coming. Yeah, it's not awesome. That is absolutely horrible. Like, look at that shit drawing. So... You know, like I said, I don't mean to, I, I don't want that my channel, the intention is to not be negative, but some shit just, we got to call out the ridiculousness of it. Like, I, you know what, we're going to, when something's not good, I'm going to tell you my opinion on it. I think it sucks. Curse of the Spawn sucks, and we'll probably look at them all. Why not? Maybe next time we'll go through like two or three issues at a time and just burn through these fucking pieces of garbage. But I just remember thinking they're just so dark and so dour and so depressing where's the fucking joy in this like if you just read this shit and you're just like oh my god it's so good i i guess good prop mad props to you if you love this shit but this sucks this shit sucks sorry i'm a little fired up over this i want to read a good comic after after reading that tom strong issue one again what a beautiful wonderful rich tapestry of characterization and action and adventure and joy and fun I mean, a, a comic can be about horrific, dark things and still be all those things, but this somehow tries the it. They they throw the best they have and they miss completely, in my opinion. So anyway, fuck Curse of Spawn, fuck it, fuck it. That's all I've got for now. Thanks. Bye.